How good to play the Aussies again. Yeah, awesome. It's been a little while for me. Um, Laurie O'Reilly, the last time we played was 2019, so really looking forward to it. Yeah, my, my first time playing in the 15, so that'd be cool, but played Australia in general for a while now, so yeah. <laughs> any opportunity to go up against um, Aussie, you know, good trans-Tasman rivalry. So what, what do you know about Laurie O'Reilly? What does he, what does that name mean to you? Um, well, we know that he, uh, Smithy, was really close to him, and um, he's looking forward to um, being a part of it and trying to play some fast-paced, ex exhilarating rugby. Just how, I guess, what does it mean to potentially come off the bench and make your debut? We spoke to you when you were selected <laughs> in the squad, but to actually be named is a whole other thing. It is. It's, uh, it's so exciting. Um, all the girls have been so, so supportive and helping me along this way. And I just can't wait, you know, get out there today and training, smash it out, captain's run tomorrow. And then I don't think it'll really sink in until I get to pull that jersey on, step out on the field, sing the anthem and do the huckle with these girls. I've been practising. <laughs> <laughs> what is the main difference, I guess, for you, a thing that you enjoy most about 15s compared to 7s? Oh, that's a good one. Um, I just love how like there's so much more people, so there's so much more um, personalities in 15s and being able to just connect with all the girls and, and see those personalities and then just how the game's played. Um, it is actually quite similar how Smithy is wanting us to play. Um, there's quite this high-paced, um, on-the-line type stuff. So I don't know. It's, it's hard to say. I love both games. I started rugby in 15s and you know that was my first love and that's what made me enjoy rugby. So I'm just happy to be back here and... Um, yeah, taking this opportunity that I get. How much would a World Cup be, you know, after the, the disappointment of, of Birmingham? <laughs> Thanks for bringing that up. <laughs> oh, I think just, yeah, it was obviously, everyone saw that, it was quite, you know, we were quite shattered with um, how that went and we didn't play our best and so it was awesome to be able to come into that camp with these girls and kind of, you know, be like, actually have something to look forward to and for me it's just about taking the moments that I can and train today, captain's run, the test, World Cup is there, but that's not my main focus at the moment. But I know these girls are, are super excited. They've been working towards that for ages. And if I do get the opportunity to um, be in that squad for World Cup, it'll be an absolute blessing. Kennedy, how does it feel to finally be back? And, and what will Charmaine bring as well? Yeah, it's been awesome <clears throat> being back, um, seeing how the girls have adapted to um, Smithy and Ted and um, Chrono Whitney. Wes um, and the style that we want to um, start bringing to life, um, it's, it, was, it was tough, I was out for 15 weeks, um, but the girls stayed really close to me, they um, you know, checked up on me, so it made me feel a little better, um, but yeah, we're back, we've got Charm at the back, who is going to be exceptional, um, and I'm, I'm excited to see what she's going to bring um, come Saturday. Do girls like Tyler really flourish in this you know, attacking style that, that Smithy always talks about? 100%, yeah. <laughs> Tyler's really good at playing on top and she, she's got good vision, so um, yeah, we've just got to keep up with her. <laughs> <laughs> what does it mean to you when you see the structure that's been put around the Black Ferns and it is a special year, but the value being placed on your game? Uh, it's, it's like no other. We've actually got um, a little mantra that we've tried to bring to life as well, which is um, like never before. You know, we've never had a World Cup in New Zealand. We've never had full-time contracts. So um, it's just fitting to be um, taking another step higher, um, you know, bringing that high performance to life, showing New Zealand um, and the world that um, we're capable of more. And I think it's about time. <laughs> Do you feel as well, um, I guess from a 15s perspective, um, that, that yes, you've got a series here and now, but are you looking bigger picture like this is the series to make your mark with the Rugby World Cup so close now? Yes, yeah, so we're, this is the obvious the building blocks we take each game as um, they come, um, and that's our focus purely, but um, you know, you, you draw a line in the sand and, and you want to um, get better and better, so um, yeah, we've just got to put it all out there, I guess the product's got to speak for itself. Kennedy, what's the, uh, the biggest strengths of the, the Wallaroos? You know, they've never beaten the, the Black Ferns in 20 attempts, so they'll be gunning for you guys on Saturday night. <laughs> like, what, what, where, where are they most, um, you know, where are they toughest? Um, I think they're very good in the collision area. They um, are quite strong ball carriers. They can keep their feet, so, you know, we've got to bring um, dominant chop tackles um, and good support lines. I think the less um, 
penalties we can give to, the more discipline we have, that means we're not giving the ball back to them easily to attack us. So if we can do what Ken said, turn the ball over, hold on to the ball ourselves, we'll be in good stead to get up in that game. Kennedy, what does it mean to, to be co-captain as well? And how would you describe yourself as a, as a leader? <laughs> yeah, it's a very uh, <laughs> a big surprise. It was awesome how it all happened, though. Um, Ruahe actually called me and asked if um, if I'd like you know, to take the opportunity. And I couldn't believe it at first because I was still just coming back from injury. Um, but, yeah, she she is an awesome human. Like, she's an awesome individual um, and an incredible woman. So to have her support and the support of all um, my teammates, it's it's very humbling, uh, privileged, yeah. I can't wait. She, <laughs> she, leads, she leads through her actions. So, you know, she's one of those hard workers out in the field that goes into everything, takes on everything, and that's just the type of player she is, and that inspires you around to, you know, get up and go and do your job as well. And naturally, I guess, just being close to the, the breakdown and the set piece and that, is it your role to, to speak to the ref or a bit of, a bit of <laughs> shared uh, responsibility there? Yeah, well, Ruhe said um, I'm closer, so that'll be it. But, you know, we... I was fortunate enough to have a convo with Richie and yeah, so I've just got to pick my moments, you know, <laughs> we've got to be our best friends, so <laughs> I've got to know how to work, work it.